seemingly Nigeria has been identified as the next destination for real estate investors who are looking for the next growth story. How this all plays out from within, however, remains a bit hazy. To have an independent view, I visited one of the front runners of the prime real estate business in Lagos, Mr. Tommy Udama of Luxury Villas Group, to truly make out what all this hype might be generally made up of. How would you explain the mission behind the main Luxury Villas Group? I think before the mission, I have to talk about the vision. Okay. We're a one stop global real estate company. And our mission is to give our clientele the most premium services in real estate they deserve. That's all. Could you talk a little bit about the Nigerian real estate market and what seems to have led to the recent boom in construction of highbrow estates? Uh, well, the world, they say, is a global village. And Nigerians are not uh, living in isolation. We go to countries like Manhattan in America and we see what is going on over there. And these people, when they travel, they come back. They just want to replicate the kind of things they see over there, back home here. And real estate, if you look at it holistically, is an investment of its own. So by and large, being an economy driven solely by oil and gas, People make money from those sectors and other sectors and they diverse their resources into real estate okay. to be able to secure their fund. I couldn't help but notice coming in the beautiful waterfront property where your office is uh, located at. It must have cost a fortune. Okay, perhaps maybe we could take a look? Why not? That's great. It's a wonderful view. Yeah. Amazing. It is. <laughs> Lagos has some beautiful scenery. It sure does. Now, Echo Atlantic is one of the first luxury developments of its kind in Africa. How do you see that impacting the real estate market here in Nigeria and the economy overall? Yeah, to me, I would say it's positive. It's going to be a positive development because uh, every man or woman who has desire for luxury living or what we call lifestyle will be happy to work on a development as good as Eco Atlantic. Okay, now speaking about lifestyle, how large is this niche market? Yeah, well, the niche market, not exactly as big as other developed nations of the world, but I think we are doing well. Nigeria, Lagos is one of the richest cities in the world, Lagos precisely. And the There's real estate market? Money. Yeah. There's money the in that market, market as well? The real estate market in Nigeria especially Lagos and Abuja and Port Harcourt, I can tell you for sure, is about the most profitable anywhere in the world. Really? There are apartments more expensive here, like the one I'm going to take you to, more expensive than what you see in Manhattan. Okay, so we're about to go check out one of the luxury apartments that he runs, and uh, apparently it's more expensive than in Manhattan, so I'm excited. Let's go check it out. Some real estate practitioners suggest that with the creation of Eco Atlantic, uh, we'll see a drop in the price of neighboring highbrow areas like Ecoe and VI. How's this supposed to pan out if so? The kind of development you have, i.e. your finishing, the location matters. So no matter what, Eco Atlantic will not make the price drop. Because I give you a typical example. The advent of Banana Island, which it's the same ambitious estate done by the Chagoris. That's in Ikoi where yeah, we're going Yeah, it has not affected the prices in Ikoi drastically. The prices are still going up? Yeah, the prices are still going up. And there are traditional Nigerians who want to live in this location you've mentioned of. However, with time, it could, but I don't think it's going to be very significant. So this is one of your properties? This is one of the properties okay. and we're co-leasing it with a very good associate, Reback okay. Real Estate. It's one of the top real estate firms in this country too. All right. So uh, I see something here that looks like a security keypad. Yes. 
this is one of the properties that is well secured. Security is a very big feature among the amenities offered here. CCTV and access codes. If you don't have the right access code, you're not getting in. <laughs> there are a few properties like this you can see any part of this country. Okay, perhaps maybe we could have a look inside? Yeah, you can have a look inside. All right. Yeah. So when you talk about expensive prices on the islands, luxury apartments, we're looking at amenities like security, underground parking, swimming, gyms, and of course 24-7 electricity, which can be very challenging. Correct. Oh wow, this is nice. Yeah, this is compared to what you see in places like Dubai. So these are the kind of properties we only put our name. In your opinion, what's the future of real estate in Africa and how is your company positioning itself? The future of real estate in Africa, in my opinion, is positive. And Luxury Villa, being a premium brand, has positioned itself for the challenges ahead. That is why we try to have the right structure and work with very dynamic professionals in our team. Is it possible to make luxury affordable though? Luxury is affordable but it's relative. Because what is affordable to you might not be affordable to someone else. Sure. So overall, all things are possible. All right. So it is possible. Mr. Tommy Odama, thank you very much for your time, sir. My pleasure. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. All right.